Everyone knows it, even if you're not a car person. That black prancing horse on a yellow background. It's the symbol of European performance. Ferrari. The logo has been virtually unchanged in its 83 year history, and rightfully so. How do you improve upon perfection? But where did Enzo Ferrari come up with the idea for that iconic logo? Well, for that, we have to go all the way back to World War I. Most of the fighting was done along long static fronts. Battlefields were littered with trenches and barbed wire. People would hunker down while artillery would fire millions of shells back and forth at each other's positions. But World War I also saw a lot of innovations. And one of those was the use of airplanes as weapons. And if you were unlucky enough, you may have caught a glimpse of what inspired the Ferrari logo. Italy's top ace during World War I was Count Francisco Baracca. The coat of arms for Baracca's family was a shield with a black prancing horse on its hind legs, below a blue bar with three gold stars. Francisco adopted the prancing horse emblem on the planes he flew. Even after the squadron he commanded adopted the Griffin in 1918, many of the other pilots continued to fly the black horse in honor of their commander. Francisco was responsible for 34 victories during World War I, and rose to the rank of major before he was shot down by a gunner in a two-seater Austrian aircraft on June 19, 1918. Due to wartime propaganda though, his downing was attributed to ground fire. When his body was recovered, he was found with a single gunshot wound to his head and his pistol out of its holster near his body. It was presumed that he opted to take his own life instead of being taken prisoner. Fast forward to 1923. The war is over and Enzo Ferrari is racing for Alfa Romeo. After winning the Circuit del Savio, Enzo Ferrari was introduced to Count Baracca's parents. While speaking to his mother, Countess Paulina Baracca, she gave Enzo Ferrari a signed photo of her son and asked him to use the same black horse on his cars, promising him it would bring him good luck. Fast forward to 1929, Enzo Ferrari starts his own racing team, Scudiera Ferrari, which was partnered with Alfa Romeo. Move forward to 1932, and the first two cars from Scudier Ferrari wearing what would become the Ferrari logo, a pair of Alfa Romeo 8C 2300 Spiders, race at the 24 Hours of Spa, an endurance race held in Stavlot, Belgium. The logo, a shield, with a black prancing horse and the letters SF below it, with a canary yellow background, the color of Enzo Ferrari's birthplace, Modena. How did the first two cars fare wearing the Ferrari logo? Well, they placed first and second. It seemed that the logo did indeed bring good luck. Fast forward to 1947, World War II is over, and Enzo Ferrari has decided to produce cars bearing his name. And on May 11th, the first production car bearing the Ferrari logo as we know it today was produced. The 125S. Powered by a 1.5 liter V12, the shield morphed into a square, the SF at the bottom was dropped and replaced with the word Ferrari, and the Italian colors were emblazoned across the top. The logo now complete, it would go on to be one of the most iconic and recognizable logos in history.